In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, an ODBC driver for Windows 10, and I'm using the uh, SQL Server 2016. So first of all, let me make sure that I have my SQL Server, um, the server name. So I'm going to go back into the SQL Server Studio. Now this assumes that you have um, SQL Server installed at your computer or on the network somewhere. And I'm going to go ahead and pick on this guy. I'm going to go to something that's called the SQL Server Management Studio. And this is one way to capture the server name, which we'll need for the ODBC driver. Now, here's the server name. I'm just going to highlight that and copy it. Good. Now, I'm going to minimize this screen. And in this case, I'm going to go over here to um, uh, Cortana and I'll type in I'll type in um, control panel. Go to the control panel. And now you're on this screen. So in this case, I'll pick on system and security. All right. And then you have this screen. And on this screen, we're going to say, on this screen, I'm going to pick on administrative tools. And then on administrative tools, I'll pick on ODBC data source, so as you can see. Now mine is a 64-bit, otherwise you would pick on 32-bit. Uh, if you don't know that, you will go back to the control panel and pick on the word system, and it'll tell you which one that you have. In fact, let me, sh let me show you that. Let me close this window for a second. In this case, I'll pick on, let me go back here. I'll do system and security. Then I'll pick on the word system. And then on, on this screen, you can see my system type is 64-bit. So that's how you can tell which one that you would use. Let me go back here again. Then from here, I'll pick on administrative tools. And from here, I'll pick on ODBC data sources, 64 bit. I'm going to double click that. Good. Now uh, we want to set up a ODBC for the, um, the SQL server. So I'll pick on the word add and you can see SQL server is among this list. Pick on SQL Server, I pick on Finish. Now you can give it whatever name that you wanted to. So I'll call it um, SQL Main. For the description, I'll type in SQL Main. Now you can type in something different there. Now, depending on how you installed your SQL Server, sometimes the server will come up here. And in this case, It did find it. So it's always great when that comes up there. Now I have a video that shows you how to install the SQL server to make sure that that choice would come up. There's a choice that was called the, the browser and you'd have to check that choice during the installation. So that is why it came up when I clicked in this pull down. And that's what the browser does for us. It's a, it's a nice feature. I just clicked on the pull down again. Now, if that doesn't come up, then this is where I would paste it in. I'll, I'll right click on that and I'll pick on paste, but you can see it did come up for us. I'll pick on next. Now, uh, do you have Windows NT all authentication or the SQL Server? This is the one where you would type in a username and password. So that's what I'm going to use here. And I'll type in my login and my password. If you don't know that, your IT team should be able to tell you that. Uh, I'm going to pick on the word next here. Now, I want to change the default database. I wouldn't use the master database. I would use something different. So let's say I'm going to use one that's called tempdb, for example. Okay. Uh, so you probably wouldn't use master. That's going to be some system, system tables that you're not going to be concerned with. So you would have your own database in there. And I'll pick on next. This screen is going to be fine. I'll pick on finish. Now on this screen, I want to pick on test data source and you can see it tested completely. So now I'll be able to use that ODBC connection either in access or Excel or crystal reports or any other program that uses an ODBC connection. So there's a lot that had it had to happen before this video. Uh, I had to have a successful installation of SQL Server on your computer or at your company. 
And then from there, I was able to make an EDBC driver using Windows 10 and uh, the SQL Server.